Hey guys, it's Damien here and we have a lot to talk about on this Tesla Cybertruck because there were some leaked images out there on the chassis of the Cybertruck itself within their factories, specifically in Texas. So as we know, there's 1.5 million reservations. They're supposed to have a delivery event around the end of quarter three and they have been doing an extended amount of tests in New Zealand. I have a video of that, so if you guys want to check that out, go to my YouTube channel. I go through all the leaked videos that they have posted on that. And here are some photos of two chassis that are stacked on top of each other on a shelf. And the one thing that's slightly concerning about this image is the fact that we were all expecting to have the Cybertruck look like this exoskeleton. Currently, they are using the world's largest cast casting presses uh, for both the front and back, which is why it's featuring these massive cast parts for the Cybertruck. But I'm curious if these chassis are just chassis that will just have panels on them that will look like an exoskeleton. I'm sure they are still working on making that happen, but from this photo, I am not so sure about that for the first few ones that are gonna be rolling out. So Cybertruck is built with exterior shell made for ultimate durability and passenger protection, starting with a nearly impenetrable exoskeleton. Every component is designed for superior strength and endurance from ultra hard 30x cold rolled stainless steel structural skin to Tesla armored glass. So that's what they were advertising the Cybertruck before and hopefully that comes to fruition. Um, there were, and that was a couple days ago and just a day ago, they there was someone actually on Twitter that ended up leaking, the, leaking these images, which is, impressive um the one thing before we get into that is that there were a few people online that were already disappointed because there was no cargo tunnel into the vault that would extend the hauling length allowing for longer materials to extend from the bed into the cabin so a lot of trucks nowadays have this back end open to be able to extend their uh bed of their truck as far as pushing through more material and it looks like we might have a slight window here if we want to get into the bed of the truck but as far as this massive opening it doesn't look like that might be an option so that might be a mini uh, disappointment that might some people might be uh, having um, but here's another one forgot to uh, here's the here's another photo I'm not sure this is the back side of the truck these photos are the best we're gonna get because someone's taking them and they're leaking so um, but yeah that's that's pretty much what they're looking like in the factory here and this article also is uh, discussing about the exoskeleton that we have mentioned before but there is a lot of hype on this cyber truck so hopefully they are going to be building these extremely well because not only that, Tesla also did mention that these Cybertrucks were, there was going to be a possibility that these Cybertrucks were gonna be operable in water as a bow. So hopefully they have plenty of anti-corrosion on these uh, chassis because they will start to rust like no other and corrode horrifically and if if they don't have their um manufacturing processes up to the, the standard that they're they want this electric pickup truck to handle on water and out of water there might be some uh problems here but another exciting uh set of news is recently tesla tweeted out that their first cyber truck was built in giga texas and here is the entire team at Tesla, at Austin, that have, you know, built their first Cybertruck. So they are starting to push these things out and hopefully we could see a lot more of them. And the delivery event will pretty much be coming uh, very, very sh shortly here. So 
I'm excited. Hopefully we can get these out on the road. Good job for the Tesla team. And if you guys like this type of content, please comment and like the video. And if you guys have any other content that you would prefer me to talk about, let me know in the comments. So have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next one.